Cloud Climber, why would anyone want to build these structures that go up to the clouds? It's a simple answer, there's no water. Hasn't been for a very long time. These towers were built for the purposes of gathering water from the air. Nice. But it didn't quite work that out, pretty much. So I am the only survivor. I think I'm trying to figure out the story behind this, but um, yeah, there's a lot of wood here. I, I would not expect um, these towers to be made of wood. Let's go. A lot of wood. Another day has arrived. I'd best get my water before going to work. Apparently though I am getting water. I must admit I was not expecting it to be so hand-drawn looky. Oh wait, hang on. Get water before I go to work, but first I will pick up this very rough looking key. Ah, chest key added to inventory. Hold either view. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's my inventory. And we've got this uh, piece of paper here. All right, stand diary page 1489. I've been at this a while. I may need to get the neighboring tower in the future, but I know the other buildings keep the entrance to the bridge locked. I saw a key on the table at the top of the at the top of our tower a few weeks ago before I went to get more building supplies. I haven't been up there in a few days, so I'll need to check if it unlocks the bridge door. If the other towers even become vacant, vacant, I might need to get across. So I'll have to keep this in mind. Okay, let's get some water. Here we go. Got that bucket of water added to the inventory. It's at the top behind my camera. There's another bucket here, but I don't think I need it. And it's made of wood. Uh, it's quite a quiet game. I have to Construction boost the volume on the a last bit. tower stopped weeks ago. I can only assume that the builders have met their fate by now. I believe it's safe enough for me to go and continue building higher yet from where they left off. I'll need to travel across the other two towers to get there, but I'm sure I can find a way. I'm still building? I wonder if I can go down. Doesn't look like it. It looks like I'm, I'm, I'm up here permanently. Uh, I'll go this way. The game's been out for quite a while on uh, the other websites. It's only been on Game Jolt for about a day. So look at this. Bernie the Great and Terrible. For months we've been building faster than ever. Yet it seems as if every time we complete a new level, the clouds raise higher and higher. I could have sworn we were closer than decades ago. But we're still not done yet. I can only hope that we're getting close. Been at it for decades. What's holding these structures up? It can't just be wood. I'm kind of... It scares me a little bit. Reminds me of that frog game that I played a while back where you're going around a ginormous tower reaching to the top. Can't remember what it was. Should be another one in here. Nope, there's just more wood supplies. Certainly not shy on wood. Someone's got to be supplying me wood. I got wood. Yeah, moving on. I've been building all day long, and Bernie the Great and Terrible has been sitting on his butt acting as foreman, aka he doesn't do any work, and drinks all our water. Now I've started locking my water chest, just in case he really does think he's above all of us. I guess I just keep going up and up. Looks like I've got to go up one more level. Oh, this one's locked. Huh, I need to get in there, but it's clearly locked. But I'm sure that there is a key at the top. I'll just keep on going. There's only so far I can go. Nice. What's that doing in the middle? Okay, there's quite a few towers around. I could swear that cloud looks a bit like a morning glory. I don't expect anyone to know what that is. Okay, I'm up here. Let's look around, Saw. Aha! The key! Bridge door key. Excellent, excellent. Just make sure I can't pick up anything else. I don't think I can. I cannot run. This is as fast as I can go. But I'm enjoying the story so far. It's nice. 
takes a break to all the horrific games I've been playing recently. No screaming, at least not yet. What's with the smiley face? Okay, end of diary. I can't believe today is the 100th anniversary of our tower. I know others have been building much longer, and now I wish our grandparents had taken this whole thing more seriously. A hundred years ago they decided things were getting dangerous, but why didn't they see the problem 200 years ago, or even longer? I'm still glad they started building, but I just wish we could have seen this coming. Couldn't they have made water evaporators? It's been quite some time since I was on the second tower. I haven't crossed this bridge since the builders became greedy and took the supplies that were meant to come to our tower. Just like all the other towers, its inhabitants quickly grew desperate and aggressive. Now it stands empty. Ugh, couldn't come together to help each other, huh? Alright, Carl's diary. I guess I knew the day would come, but I didn't expect it to come this soon. Yesterday we started extreme rationing of our water. A few days back we stopped getting supplies from the ground crew on our lift. We can only assume that they stolen the supplies for themselves, ran out of water and food sources, or simply died. I... Uh, if we don't get into the clouds soon, we might need to see if we can get some from one of the neighbouring towers. Water evaporators, people! You got the technology to make these towers even though they're made of wood? You won't catch me climbing in one of these things. Chest. It appears to be locked. I don't think I can open that, but I can open this. That takes me to the other side here. Oh, another one. Bertha's diary. Whoa, she's been here a while. Dear diary, wouldn't it be ironic if it rained now, after decades of building? Now would be the perfect time, since we just started rationing our supplies more. But I have a good feeling about this. I know I've never seen rain myself, but grandmother always told me how wonderful it felt. It would be so surreal to be on the ground and see water for miles, instead of desert, wasteland. Now I'm sure it will rain someday. We just need to survive until then. I wonder if at the end of this adventure, I'm going to get a shower of rain. That would be a nice conclusion. I'm going to do some rope cart on this level to get to the third tower. I should be able to use it to get across. It would be an ironic ending if I got a drop of rain. Carl's diary again. I tried to be reasonable. I tried to talk to them. But those greedy little scumbags on Tower 1 don't want to share their supplies with us. I'm not going to die miles above the ground. Drank up like a raisin, while other people watch. I'm going over there tonight to take everything I need, so I can last long enough to watch everyone else die. Don't like this guy. I gotta find a way to bring that in. I probably need a tool or something. A cog. Or a saw? Well, there's lots of saws. Don't worry about that anytime soon. Ah, is there a reason for coming up here? Probably not. Alright, let's have a look then and see if we can gain access to the lift somehow. Let's go back down here. Okay, let's wheel it in. There we go. That's weird, the rope isn't coming in. Hmm. It just scaled it. Well, it's one way to get around it, I suppose. Oh, there it goes! I could almost call this place beautiful if these dust storms weren't so suffocating. Can you have dust storms miles up in the air? What happens if I fall? I hope I find what I'm looking for at the fourth tower. I don't want to fall. I don't want to... No parachute. Hanley Diaries, page one. I couldn't be more frustrated right now. We're running out of water, running out of building supplies, and Carl just won't get along with me. At least five times a day, he pretends he's going to push me off the tower. I swear, if I do fall someday, it'll be his fault. Totally. Joe's Diary. Yesterday, Hadang fell off the tower. I don't know how it happened, but it was a shame, especially since he had the key to most of our water chests. Just break them open, they're made of wood. Well, we need to break the lock. Oh. Uh, 
Uh, we need to break the locked ones open soon, since we've almost emptied out the other chests. There's plenty of notes. Oh, I've already read that one. Okay. Uh, let's just check again. Are these bricks or blocks of wood? Uh, I need to get over to that other tower. That requires me to go on that bridge there. How many towers are there? You would have thought, as a society running out of water, we would work together. Another one. I just can't get over it. Hadang gives the absolute best reactions when I mess with him. For the past week, I've been pretending to get mad and shove my arms at him. As if to push him off the tower. I don't think this will ever get old. And I can tell Hadang loves it. Wow, this guy. He's mean. Okay, one more. Ch chests. Nope. Oh, wait, hang on. Stack of planks. Okay, I've got a stack of planks. And the bridge is out. Okay. Looks like I'll need to fix this bridge. There we go. Nice and straightforward. Done. Stack of planks was used. It's hard to believe that I'm the last one here. How do you I know? I never thought it would end like this. Makes you wonder what the whole point was in the first place. To get water! A note of ambition. Out of everyone on this earth, our families were the, one, were the only ones who took the water crisis seriously. We were the ones who started building. We were mocked and told we were insane. We were the ones who everyone looked to when the lake and rivers dried up. Our blueprints were the ones that were stolen as people became desperate. And of everyone on this earth, we are the ones who deserve to survive. The clouds are brimming with liquid life, but are still so evasive. We've been building for a long time, but we're not done yet. We have further to go. We will climb the clouds, the son of Zilcher. Oh. It's him again. This evening, Kevin made a really cheesy speech about how we alone will prevail and how we're the only descendants of the Great Ones who deserve life. It was honestly the cringiest speech I've ever heard. And that's really saying a lot considering the other stuff he's been saying lately. He also keeps referring to himself in the third person and only responds to us if we call him Son of Zilcher. In the third person, huh? I don't see any other note here. Don't want to miss any. Hello. Door here. There's no door handle. Doesn't seem to be anything else. I have a feeling my venture is about to come to a conclusion. Mind your head. Oh, more planks. And a hammer. And a saw. Okay, we're building. Ah, oh, not stuck. Let's just make. Sure. Let's just go everywhere because I picked up a few things there. Don't want to end up missing anything. That's odd. Oh, hang on. Oh, it won't let me. That's weird. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, moving forward. Why can't I not jump? Oh! Okay, more stairs. Okay! Now what? Oh, wait, I'm still building. Do, do, do. There we go. This place really is beautiful, even with the dust storms. It's peaceful in a way. I've been working on that tower my whole life and never once stopped to appreciate what we'd spent our lives building. We only looked up to the clouds hoping we'd someday reach them so we could prolong our lives. But now that everyone's gone, I know any attempt I might make at accomplishing that would be futile. Rather than spending the rest of my life building a tower, maybe it's time I took a break. 
It's been a long time, but I think I'm finally done. I'm glad that happened. Could you think of a more perfect, suitable ending? Thanks for playing, and thank you very much for the experience. That was most definitely a very good story. I liked the fact that there were a lot of notes explaining what happened there. A little bit concerned that uh, when it's crunch time, everyone is in for, it for themselves. That's, that's not portraying a very good light, but then we're not doing very good in our current situation right now, are we? Not much cooperation going on there for that one. Want to try it yourself? The link is below. I'll see you soon.